Well, I'm tucked up here in this little uh, alcove area to get out of some of the wind and uh, I'm going to give you guys an idea of what I carry in my day pack while I'm out here uh, on these day hikes. And um, this can pretty much be applied year round. I got a few items in here that are specific to the uh, cold weather that I'm out here in. But uh, other than that, for the most part, the items all stay the same in this pack right here. So the pack itself is a Camelback Rim Runner. Um, I got this pack specifically for day hikes. It uh, came with a 100 ounce camel pack, camelback bladder, uh, which I don't use in the winter time. Um, I like to use it in the summer because I like to hydrate while I'm hiking, but uh, out here in the winter, the bladder tends to freeze up inside of the tube if it gets a little too cold. Uh, it is a blistering 15 degrees out here right now, so uh, that's highly likely that that would happen if I was trying to use the bladder. So. As far as water goes, I just bring uh, my typical Nalgene. You can even flip these things upside down and uh, keep it like that in the pack pocket there to keep the mouth from freezing so that you can uh, continue to drink it because then the top here will be the first thing to freeze. So when you turn it over to drink, you won't have ice crusted up here around the mouth of your water bottle. So anyway, I just bring my Nalgene. It goes right there in the side pocket. Yeah, I really like this pack. It's got the uh, 3D mesh on here and uh, some panels to let the, uh, you know, the air flow through it to keep you, the sweat off your back. Um, obviously, I try not to sweat too much when I'm out here in this cold because that can be dangerous. So, uh, but in the summertime, this is really nice to have. Um, pack carries really comfortably. It even comes with a waist belt, which I don't have on here because I usually don't use it. But uh, it does have that in case you were going to run with it or something. Uh, so that's the pack and it's got a couple of pockets here. It's got side pockets where I keep the water bottle. Uh, another pocket here where I'll typically store some snacks. Um, that's another key item that I always keep in my uh, day pack is a few extra snacks. Even if I just ate right before I came out here or uh, you know, if I'm planning on eating right after I leave, stop somewhere and get some food on the way back, I still always bring a few snacks with me because uh, it's always a good idea because you never know when you might get hungry or how long you might be out here in case you uh, Get stuck out longer than you planned because you got lost. So anyway, the uh, typical year-round items that I do keep in here, I keep a few emergency supply type things, um, basic survival items, you know, in case you were to have to get stuck out somewhere overnight. Um, you know, uh, here in the valley, uh, there's enough civilization. I know the area well enough and uh, I feel capable enough in my own uh, abilities to navigate and to get myself out of here that you know, I've never had to spend a, uh, a night out um, because of a day hike, but you know, if you're in a new area, you get lost, you never know what can happen. So uh, you should always be prepared just in case you have to, uh, worst case scenario, spend the night out in the cold. And uh, in the summertime, I wouldn't be so worried about that, but uh, this time of the year, it can be deadly. So my basic survival items that I have in here, uh, I got a knife, I got a flashlight, I got uh, basic first aid kit, just a few minor items, um, fire, big lighter, uh, a little bit of tinder. I carry one of these little esbit cubes. These are fuel cubes. You can cook with these actually. Um, but uh, this will burn for, I don't know, eight, ten minutes, something like that. Just this little tiny thing. So uh, good tinder in case you had to start an emergency fire. Uh, let's see, in the winter time, I usually like to throw a couple of these hand warmers in here. Um, simply for my own comfort if I get too cold but uh, you know if you were to get stuck out here in the cold these things could save your life you never know um, so that stuff goes in here I have a couple I have a little notepad and some pen I've never used it but it's in there a um, little hand sanitizer and some toilet paper uh, also a little, couple of tissues just because especially out here in the uh, cold you get a little snotty sometimes um, another thing always bring is a map. Uh, you can bring a compass if you really want to, especially if you're in unfamiliar territory or areas where the trails aren't marked really well. Um, but uh, here in the valley, everything's marked pretty well. And I've been on almost all the trails around here, so I know my way around. Um, but I still bring the map just in case because sometimes I like to change up the route and go places uh, that I haven't been in a while. So map, very important. Um, Here's two survival items that I always will have in here because these can absolutely save your life. Uh, one is a space blanket, and uh, these things will keep you pretty warm um, 
even in the coldest of temperatures. Um, it's basically just a mylar sheet uh, and it completely traps all of your body heat in there. Um, you wouldn't really want to sleep with this thing on you unless it was an emergency because you'll sweat underneath it. But uh, you know, if you were uh, if you got stuck out somewhere in the cold and you didn't have extra jacket or something, you know, this thing could be a lifesaver. Uh, and then the other thing is a poncho, and this is equally important because uh, although I do bring a rain jacket with me usually, um, you know, if your rain jacket fails or you just forgot to stick it in the pack that day, um, you know, the poncho can save you from getting soaking wet and uh, getting hypothermia really quickly. So, two items that are always in the day pack. Uh, let's see. Well, that's about it for uh, regular items. You know, you could, you know, like I said, you could throw a compass in here if you want. Uh, some kind of signaling device, a whistle, um, even a mirror, you know, a mirror or something if you wanted to. Um, it might also be a good idea to carry a little bit of paracord if you wanted to. I don't happen to have that in here, but because uh, I've never had to use it, but. You know, not a terrible idea. All right, and finally in the big pocket here uh, is where I usually store my extra clothes and uh, maybe some camera gear if I'm bringing that. Um, right now I've got extra heavy hat. This is a little bit warmer and heavier than the one that I've got on right now. This thinner one is good for uh, active. You know, if you're moving around, you uh, sweating a little bit underneath it. It stays dry, keeps you cool. But this one's good for when you're not moving, and it uh, actually has a face mask built into it. So, uh, extra hat. I like to bring this. Uh, this is a turtle fur. It's like a buff, if you know what those are. They're like a, it's just a tube of fleece, basically, and uh, it can be used in a number of different ways. My favorite way to use it is uh, as a neck gaiter kind of thing. So you can pull it down around your face like this put it up over your mouth and your nose if the wind's biting at you and then pull it down and just kind of keep it around your neck like a scarf if you're uh, you know if you're if your face isn't that cold um, another pair another item that I always bring out here in the cold and the snow sunglasses uh, the snow can be really bright uh, there's a real condition called snow blindness you're most likely not going to get that out here in the woods but you never know um, you know, if the sun's blaring down on that sun, it can actually burn your retinas. So a good pair of sunglasses is always good to bring out on a snowy trip. And the other thing is lip balm. This is essential in the cold, at least for me. Got to bring this. All right, I have a lighter weight pair of gloves here. Uh, my heavy mitts that I usually wear while I'm hiking. Uh, these things keep my hands nice and warm. You'll learn more about these in the clothing video. Uh, but I also have a lighter weight pair of gloves in case uh, these are just too much. I have my rain jacket in here just to reiterate the point of uh, it's always a good idea to bring protection. Um, and uh, in the winter like this, I wouldn't bring this because this coat that I have on will shed the snow um, for me. But uh, you know, in the summertime, springtime, fall, when you never know what it might rain, I always have the raincoat in there, or at least try to remember. But if I forget, that's what the poncho is for. And then the last thing is just uh, another fleece down here. It's just basically another layer I can throw on to try to keep myself warm. So that's it for the day pack, guys. Um, always remember your snacks and your water. Those are really important. Remember your extra layers, your rain protection, and uh, hopefully those basic survival items you'll never have to use. But it's always a good idea to have them in there.